Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Tuesday, December 13th, 2022. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. CPI data came out here prior to the RTH open, sending the market higher. Uh, CPI data coming out two tenths of a percent lower than expected cooling off in November and a big push to the upside here to begin uh, the session here again heading into the RTH session right now we see new highs and kind of a expanding range that is developed here at these highs the previous high right here this is the high for the month that's gonna be an early key level to watch in case price starts to form a tail at the upper end of the day's range so 4110 is that level if price fails to hold above 4110 and starts to drop back below 4100 here we could be looking at uh, a tail event that develops at the upper end of today's range overall very strong start can price continue to hold above 4100 and push higher toward the next upside target that would be 4300 so 4100 through 4100 opens 43 a failure here opens up back down toward the bottom of the range at 39.20. So right now still in the range as it continues to take out highs, take out lows, and trade within the range. If we take a look here at the NQ, right now big day for the NQ as well, up 3.76% compared to the ES, just higher 2.78% right now. So a whole percentage point higher here is the NQ. This one also pushing through recent highs and the highs for the month. The high of the month right now is 12145. That's going to be the level to watch here in case this thing fails back below that point. So a break back below 12100 could open up a return back toward recent lows. So right now, testing the edge of the developing range here. You have this range 114, 115 up to about 121, 12150. Again, a failure to hold above 12150 starts to put you back into the range below. Uh, a transition at this zone, right? A, a big time push through 12K, 12150 though. A transition through this area opens up the next level above. That's going to be 13K. So this is a big time zone here to see if this can transition back into this upper market structure as it could open up a return back toward 13K up ahead. All right, let's take a look here at crude oil. Right now, crude oil up 2%, 1.91%. We're seeing a bounce back into uh, a falling eight period PIMA right there, that eight period pivot based EMA being tested from below. This is a bearish PIMA trigger zone right now and a downtrending market at the moment. It's downtrending on a medium term basis, downtrending on a short term basis. And right now, with this little bounce here, any bounce could be seen as a selling opportunity for another round of weakness ahead. Keep in mind 76.25 that's the major key level to watch. You also have the 74 uh, the 7550 level that's going to be your previous year's close. So a return into this zone and a rejection there would suggest more weakness ahead. If price can reclaim 76.25 there's a shot to bounce back toward 84. So 76.25 is going to be the big level here to watch. Any re, um, rotation and rejection into that zone could lead to another round of weakness. Remember, the downside target here is going to be 67.55. Taking a look at gold futures, this one's up 1.79% right now. Big squeeze to the upside. Again, this market has been very bullish overall, uh, maintaining a very strong trend here after the rejection at 1620 that triple bottom down there we've seen the bullish Pima trigger zone uh, come to fruition multiple times here on rotations into that zone and we've seen the market bounce and rotate back out of it we've now seen a new high as well the top end of the range 1830 we got 183160 this morning so that's the pocket that we were talking about before on this initial rally if we rotate up to this target zone it's going to be 1820 to 1830 a confluence of targets there and we're now well within that range yet again it's going to take pushing through that zone to open up the next zone above so again can this market push through the 1830s if so 1880 could be the next target above so keep an eye on this zone so far again second half of the year here this market has uh, 
rotated downward away from this area. So we'll see if this market has enough juice to push it higher. Otherwise, a rotation back down could be ahead. Lastly, taking a look at the YM. The YM right now leading higher, big time rally. Uh, pushing through the 35k level today's high 35 228 so already down 200 points from the highs of the session still holding well through the previous highs here a very good breakout to the upside a really good rotation off this lower edge here very good rotation back to the upside to new highs and now again keeping an eye on the previous highs here if price fails to hold above that prior pivot high, which is 34,700, that could be a big indication here that we're rotating back down. As of right now, we're still trading 35K and looking quite bullish here as the YM leads to the upside. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.